everybody. Welcome to Turtles Homestead. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Why don't you tell these five <laughs> folks what we got going on today since we're selling something? That's right. <laughs> yeah. we, we're not selling anything. So, um, a couple of years ago, um, we saw the mini chainsaws on, on a video that we were watching. I can't remember now who we were watching, but... Got a little battery operated Yeah, ones. and I thought, man, that thing looked cool and I sure would like to have one. And so, we've been looking at them for a couple of years and we actually went looking for that one from steel steel, steel. was the first one yeah we and um gosh we couldn't even find one they were sold out everywhere yeah. so uh, we've been looking at them for a couple of years but then um a month or so ago uh, this company uh contacted us and asked if we would be interested in doing a, a product review of their mini chainsaw and i said well heck yeah so um so they sent it to us that's a disclaimer they sent that to sent this to us free of charge um, to try out, but uh, we said this we would do it uh, only if we could do an honest yeah, that'd review. Yeah, being honest. And so, honest, honest, honest. <laughs> so this is our unboxing of the Saker S A K E R uh -huh. mini chainsaw. And so I'm gonna take it away, Jim. Dick. Second time taking out a box because right. we had audio difficulties <laughs> the first time. Right. Oh, it was so good. Too. It was. Good. So, so um, first glance, it's a uh, smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, the box is, is pretty small, so, and it doesn't, but the good thing is it doesn't weigh that much. Yeah. Because as y'all know, or may or may not know, we have a lot of cedar trees. We're yes. cleaning up property and trying to get pasture and stuff. So this will come in handy. Yeah. For their lemmy, lemmy, lemmy trees. Yeah. And, um, so out of the box, it uh, the product comes with a um, the charger, uh, a battery, the chain oil, a chain, <laughs> and then several tools, and then the unit itself. So, cut and wrench, little screwdriver. Everybody needs a little mini screwdriver. That's right. Yeah. And so, uh, just out of the gate, from my perspective, um, it's packaged really well. It has foam in there to protect it. Uh, the thing, uh, no dings and nicks in the boxes. So, uh, the packaging was great. Yeah. And for me, proof is in the pudding. Exactly. Well, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Kind of about the weight of a <clears throat> standard battery operated drill. Mm -hmm. Feels feels pretty handy. I won't put the battery in. Yeah, don't put the battery in. Yeah, it's very light. And so we thought that um, we would do this product review on how we are going to use this product around here because. As Jim said, we have a ton and ton and ton of cedar trees to cut down. And so when he cuts them, they are limby from the bottom to the top. And so he has to cut all of the limbs off to be able to either chip them up in the chipper mm -hmm. or burn them. Burn and so, them, make stuff out of them. Yeah, so and, yeah, and the reason that I the propane tank. The reason that I wanted this is because I have a little bit of arthritis. And a lot of trigger finger in my in my hands and so the lockers it's hard for me especially if it's a thicker branch it's hard for me to get enough oomph on it right. to cut through and so i thought this would be a good way uh, for me to be able to help him limb up those trees so that's yeah. why i'm really excited and hope that it works so and it's got um said i guess this is just a guard that's a little guard i also guard. think i could put it on my belt oh, like sure. a belt holder oh, and then sure. it has a safety button right here um and then you'll go over all of this so of course jim's going to use it first just to test it out and make sure it's safe for me well, to use. just kind of show you the ins <laughs> yeah. and outs and yeah so overall I, i'm pretty excited enough. it's well made i feel like it, it feels it's, feels it's, okay it's, it's, i mean it's plastic of course well, yeah. and it, it's got a rubber rubber grip right there, um, but it feels sturdy and it and it feels good. Yeah. So it comes one battery, kind of your standard twenty volt on anything, just about these days, mm -hmm. and uh, 1.5 amp hours. How's it charge? You gotta plug this little thing in, that little port into there. Oh. Whereas most batteries these days, they just slide on the bigger oh. charger. But for the price, we we'll try it. Yeah. See how long the battery lasts, how long it yeah. takes to charge up. And um, yeah. put, this, put the battery in it. I know it. It says the, the Saker Mini Chainsaw weighs only 1.1 kilograms. 
It can be used with one hand and is not easy to get tired after long-term use. Yeah. Even the elderly can easily control it. Well, that has us covered. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it says the, the Saker Mini Chainsaw is equipped with a 20 volt rechargeable lithium battery, which can be used for a long time, charging at any time, convenient and fast. So, and then it had just all of the, the product, uh, how to put it together, but it was already together, so I think we're good to go. So, we are ready to go and play with this. Go we'll check it out. Saker Mini Chainsaw. So we appreciate Saker for giving us the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go, let's go play with the We'll try it out. We'll see y'all yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And uh, this, we'll get the same dirty. Yeah. All right. So we uh, put the battery on the charger and it's got that red light on there. So we think that maybe we're going to see if it, when it's fully charged, if that turns green. So we will. Yep. So the light turned green once it's fully charged. And I would say out of the box on the charger, it was about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, it was fully charged so all right and just for the record it is 1207 p.m eastern standard time so we are gonna find out how long this chain lasts maggie you might not be scared of this little chainsaw girl you ready to get to work let's do it so once you've cut the big giant cedars see how all of the limbs on there have to all be cut off before we can put it on the burn pile yeah so that's our hope is that it'll help speed things up with these projects but then also use it for just other yeah. landscaping yeah. it is december the 30th, 30th and it is hot out here feels good it works a lot better than i thought it would work i'm pretty pleased with it so far but I'm gonna get some better footage of it in action. We're gonna, we're gonna get some more footage of the chainsaw in, in action, but I just wanted to kind of go through this big giant tree and see how all of these little knots where it cut all of these branches off. And it did actually did really well. So you can see the size of them. We're up to up to here. I tell you, we it's a pretty ambitious tree we started with. <laughs> Another thing to me is this, when it's on that side, it it's kind of- It's gotta be on one side or the other yeah, though. but it kind of gets in the way of getting all the way up against it. But that's when you gotta turn it to that side. You are right about uh, putting it on the end there. Yeah, letting it ride, mm -hmm. the, kind of the weight of it ride, and it won't yeah. work, won't work. It cuts better too. Yeah. It gives a cleaner cut. Yeah. Like you see, it's going to stand down on you. Like you see. Ooh. Ooh, got you, didn't it? It did, right in the shin. <laughs> <laughs> You know what this thing will be good for? Right. Throwing it on the golf cart. Yeah. And when we're riding through the woods, nipping, cutting down some nippets of branches. Yep. Yeah. We won't go down the pond. Wherever you want to go, we're going to take a little ride and uh, put this thing to work in some other parts of the property.
All right, you can see all those those limbs. Boy, they'll slap you right in the face. Oh. All right, so we're going to cut and drive. We're hit... going to make us a golf cart path through there. All right, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Limb. Using nothing but the mini chainsaw. Yep. <clears throat> Maggie won't be scared of this one. Things you find when you're on the trail. What is that? Look at there. What is it? It is probably. Wow. Oh, there's the bottom jaw and everything. Oh, it's got some fangs. Look at that. Maybe a fox or something. Oh, you think? You might guess. The fox have small things coyote. like that? Yeah. Maybe a small coyote. Yeah, kind of like canines. Yeah. Look at that thing. I wonder how long that's been out here. Yeah, for a while, it looks like. We'll sit it up here so when we bring the grandkids, <laughs> it's marking the spot. Look at that. Very nice. That is, it's kind of, it's creepy but cool. So we got, we got halfway through a trail, but we think that the ground is going to be too wet to even get the golf cart up here because it'll just spin. How did the mini chainsaw do? Pretty good. Yep. So far. So far, so good. Yeah, if it was dry, we could cut them two little and get on up through there. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right up through there. Yeah. Well, that battery lasted for probably an hour of solid use. This size battery, we've cut quite a few. Yeah. And you think about your, your drills. I mean, my drills. Yeah. My drills. But we'll see how quick it charges up because mine, mine will get full charge in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And the it would be beneficial to have two batteries. Oh yeah, definitely. So, all right, check wire. We we'll, stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, day two with the Saker mini chainsaw. Jim's already been down here working and clearing and cutting, and so uh, I've come down to see what I can do with the mini chainsaw. So today is January first, twenty twenty-three. So happy New Year, everybody. We're gonna see. Well, we can get done with this sacred mini chainsaw. Say hello to the folks, Jim Dick. Hello to the folks, Jim Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I used the uh, Saker mini chainsaw to help Jim uh, clean up some logs that he had uh, saved from the brush. And I used it pretty much all day on New Year's. And you can... Watch, I'll link the video that we made for on New Year's Day 2023 and you can go back and, and watch that because I used the uh, mini chainsaw all throughout the day and it did really well. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Hey everybody. It's been about, what, three weeks uh, since we got the uh, seeker mini chainsaw and got it, it out. Seeker or Saker? S-A-K-E-R. So I'm saying Saker. Um, I'm just saying. Sounds, no, sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> Say Saker. Saker. It might be Saker. That could be. That could be. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so it's been about three weeks and we've used it three or two or three or four times. Four, about four, three or four times. Um, we've used it. Yeah, um, a few hours at a time. A few hours at a time. And so this is our final review and or not recommend or not recommend. Um, so it's I, our personal opinions. This is a 100% our honest reviews, uh, both of our honest reviews. So I will let you go first. No, you lead it. No, because no, I'm. No, you've done, you do all the work, you do all the stuff, so you get the good. I wanted to end it on it's a good yours. note. That's yours. <laughs> so I would say. From my perspective, I really like it. Um, it, it. It does allow me to, to get in there and do things that I would normally not be able to do. Um, so 
for, I, I would say that the, so the pros of it, that is very lightweight. It does cut pretty good. Um, and then the cons are that the battery doesn't last very long. Um, and if we're at the back of the property and the battery goes dead and I don't have an, a second battery, then I have to come all the way back to the house, charge it up. It takes a pretty good long time to charge the battery. Uh, so those would be the only cons. So I will more than likely try to uh, purchase a second battery so that I can have them have a backup battery. So that, that's my only con is that the battery doesn't last very long and it probably shouldn't last very long, but it, it takes a long time to charge it up. Like it mm -hmm. took a little over two hours. A little over two hours to charge the battery. Um, and so that pretty much wipes you out for the whole day. Um, but while it's working, it works fantastic. And I think it's going to be a great addition for me around the homestead, helping Jim cut down the big giant cedar trees. And also when our food forest gets going, um, it'll be a good um, kind of chop and drop tool. Yeah, you in wouldn't there. want to prune. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's definitely not a pruning saw because you would not get. It cuts too rough. Uh, it cuts too rough. Prune. Yeah, so. But it does cut and it does cut yep. pretty good. And it's good for. <laughs> back in the woods clearing and cutting the trail. It was pretty good for that. So that that's my opinion. Uh, the price point of this, then now they do have this uh, available on Amazon and you can get the unit with two batteries, two chains, two bars. Uh, I believe that it was around $80. So I will leave a link down below if you want to check that out um, and see. So that is my review is I like it. I would recommend it for women and, and some men, <laughs> and some men. <laughs> <laughs> so i am going to pass this baton to get your honest review my honest review is it was actually a little handier it was better than what i thought it mm -hmm. was going to be and we we took the golf cart back there and cut some little you know some little cedar trees about yay big mm -hmm. Cut quite a few of them down, but um, for the money, me personally, if I was going to use it very regular, I would not spend the money on this and save my money and probably get a little bit better brand name, but I still want to try one out because I don't know. I haven't tried any others out, mm -hmm. but hey, for 50, 60 bucks, if you could get your wife to come out there and help you while you're using a real chainsaw. <laughs> That's a plus. That is a plus. But, however, it, you get about 10 minutes worth of cutting, maybe, which is, is handy for what it is, but the battery takes two hours to charge. Yeah. Let me show you this. <laughs> this is one of them, like when drills all first came out and they had these little battery things before you could slide them in the good charger and charge it up in five minutes, they had these. So this thing, with Come on. <laughs> but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But two hours to charge is too much for me. And then also it came with a little bitty short screwdriver to tighten the chain up. Well, you see these mitts? Picture trying to tighten this thing up with that little bitty short screwdriver. It's about that tall right there. And it wants to bust your knuckle up against the chain. I say I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't buy it. Okay. That's fair enough. But it is handy. I could see. It is very if handy. If I was a hunt, well. You are a hunter. If you're a hunter, mm -hmm. if you had one of these with a couple batteries and put in your backpack and say you set your stand up and you wanted to clear some little lanes, little shooting lanes, this would be handy to take back mm -hmm. there with you. Mm -hmm. However, I would probably still take my whoppers, loppers just in case mm -hmm. the batteries go dead. <laughs> yeah. But, but, um, but I, and I'll say, even though it takes two hours for the, for the battery to charge and, and you get 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of cutting time, that's still an hour's worth of work. So by the time, if you had two batteries, you could have one would be almost charged by the time the other one ran out. Theoretically. That's our opinion. That, and we're sticking yeah, down. That's right. <laughs> So again, thank you, Saker, for giving us the opportunity to try it out and to uh, do a review. And hey, if you're looking for that, like I said, I'll leave a link down below. And uh, if you want to check it out yourself, you're 
how you go do that and let us know how you like it and let us know if you've actually used one of these or another one and, and how you like them so that's it see ya bye oh shoot <laughs> i hate that sorry babe